Today we are going to discuss the lesson one, the particulate nature of matter, additional questions. In your test book, page number nine. So question uh, one, two, three, four, we studied the last class. Now we are going to discuss question number five. So here they have given a picture. The part is shown below was a tab. So you can see here uh, there is a tube and here two sides, both sides, they are covered with stopper uh, for what's keeping the gas inside the tube. They are using a stopper and here one cotton wool soaked in concentrated ammonia solution, ammonia solution, that wool. And here another cotton wool soaked in concentrated hydrochloric acid. So this is the condition. This is the condition. Then they are asking, give explanations for the following observation. So we want to give explanation how it is everything. So they will ask some question. That question we want to give explanation. That is our duty. Okay, first question. The formation of a white cloud. So here there is a white cloud is forming. What is the reason? Diffusion. diffusion of ammonia solution. Yeah, diffusion. Okay, then. The diffusion between the ammonia and mm -hmm. the hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. That, yeah. gave, that gave a white wh cloud. Okay, good. So we can say a chemical reaction between the ammonia and the hydrochloric acid particles occurs, producing a white solid. Producing a white solid. That's why uh, the white white cloud is forming. Chemical reaction. Then question number B. It took a few minutes before the white cloud formed. Ah, it won't form suddenly. It will take some time. Can anyone say maybe what is the reason? Uh, so the particles diffuse from both of the cotton uh, mm. wool and uh, react together. Yeah. Until the reaction took place. Yeah. Okay. Sir, so you know. Sir, I have another question. Answer. Uh. Because the particles of uh, the ammonia and uh, the other uh, and the, doesn't move in a straight line, so it may take a longer time to diffuse. Yeah, both, uh, both answers are same, both answers are correct. You know, the particles of ammonia and the particles of hydrochloric acid have to diffuse by random motion. You know, at the time of diffusion, we studied by random motion and collide with the air particles along the tube. Uh, actually, inside the tube having uh, air. So, these particles want to collide with air particles then they want to collide with the next particle. They want to mix air particle like that. By random motion, by colliding only, you will reach there. So that's why it will take some time, a few time. So uh, answer is correct. So the particles of ammonia and hydrochloric acid have to diffuse by random motion and collide with air particles along the tube until they collide with one another. You know, here, you know, in the case of uh, gas, in the case of air, the particles always colliding and moving. Here are inside the tube totally. But when the particles colliding with air and uh, from this ammonia section and from this hydrochloric acid section, when they both of them collide, together, then only the diffusion happening and uh, this what white cloud is forming. But you know, here, here what will happen, only hydrochloric acid particle collide, here and here, here, here at all. And here in this area, only the ammonia particle will collide in each other. But when the ammonia particles moving, uh, it reach here, and when the hydrochloric acid will reach here, both of them will collide. At that time, the white cloud will form. So uh, question B, why it will take some time? So the answer for the random motion and the colliding of particles.
then question c the white cloud form further from the cotton wool soaked in ammonia yesterday i explained this less, this area yes so can i say sir sir there uh -huh. because ammonia have less mass and uh -huh. hydric acid have more mass Ah, okay. So we can say, yes, we can yes, say yes. the hydrochloric acid have uh, less energy, kinetic energy, and the ammonia have more kinetic energy. Okay, why ammonia have more kinetic energy? Because gases diffuse at different rates. Yeah, okay. Yeah, your answer is, answers are correct. So today we discussed this. The ammonia particles are lighter than those of the hydrochloric acid, and so they move yeah. faster. They move faster. Yeah, like they have less. This enables mass. them to move more quickly along the tube. So you know, in a running competition, there is a uh, more fatty person and there is a lean person. So those who have less mass, he will run fastly like that. Here ammonia, hydrochloric acid is a fatty person. So uh, it's a lazy. He will go slowly, but. The ammonia is uh, very lean, less mass, so it will move fast, and it will move fast, and it will reach. It will reach here first. Uh, actually, this is coming from here, and this is coming from here. But ammonia will move fast, and it will reach here fastly. At that time, hydrochloric acid reach here, so it will form here. Okay, simple question. Okay. Very simple question for you. Then question B. Pulling the concentrated ammonia and hydrochloric acid before carrying out the experiment increased the time taken for the white cloud to form. Yeah, that and is less kinetic important. energy. Yeah, important question. Pulling the concentrated ammonia and hydrochloric acid before carrying out the experiment increases the time taken to the white cloud to form. You know what is the question now? Give explanation. You want to give explanation? Okay. Yeah. What is the cooling means? What uh, we are lowering, we are lowering, or we are decreasing the temperature would cause both ammonia particles and hydrochloric particles to move more slowly. Yeah. Less kinetic energy to move more. You know uh, the particles. Uh, gas particles moving, we studied when we are getting kinetic energy, they will vibrate more, they will move more, they will collide more. So here we are re reducing the kinetic energy, we are reducing the heat energy, so they will move slowly. Sir. So, yeah, so it will take more time for diffusion. Okay, ask. Sir, what does it mean, kin kinetic en energy in this question? What does it mean? Kinetic in energy this means if anything, yeah, okay. moving Some energy, happy, yeah. moving energy, if anything move, at that time, uh, it has an energy, that is called kinetic energy. Or we can say moving energy, moving energy also. Grade okay. uh, 9, which grade 7, we studied unit 9, energy, grade 7. Oh, yeah, there we discuss good. kinetic energy. You know, uh, kinetic energy's equation is half mv square. M is the mass of the particle, V is the speed of the particle. Then we discussed that uh, a lorry and a bike having the same speed, but who's having more kinetic energy? The lorry having, the truck having, because it has more mass. Everything we discussed, grade 7, unit 9, energy. So means, kinetic energy means it is a moving energy. Okay. So, sir, sir, uh, sir, which have le less kinetic energy have more mass. No, 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 no. Half m v square. Who's who's having more kinetic energy? Uh, that having more mass. Who's having more speed? Those who having more kinetic energy. Both of directly proportional. Not divided by okay. m uh, multiple v. So both of them uh, multiples, not divide. In the new denominator only, like Sir, that. why Z stands for speed but not S? Huh? Velocity. 
Yeah, V means actually you know V velocity. Uh, in physics, in physics, next lesson that don't worry, we'll discuss what is speed, what is velocity. Lesson two. Actually, I think here you all are heard the word only speed. Nobody know velocity. When I came in this school first time, and uh, 2016, I sat in grade six, that grade six. At the time, velocity. Everybody uh, was open their eye completely. They don't know that word velocity. But uh, actually, both of them same, but some difference according to science. So in physics lesson two, we'll study that speed, velocity, everything. Don't don't worry. Okay. Okay. Question number six. Five D finish uh, and six. The following diagram shows the three states of matter and show how they are they can be interchanged. So I will ask the name. Okay, it's very easy question. So don't give the mass answer. I will ask the name. So okay, okay. Here they have given some situation. See the screen. Solid here, liquid here, gas here. Then they are showing the changes. You can see by looking the arrow. Arrow A means what? From liquid to solid. Arrow B, solid to liquid. And arrow C, gas to liquid. Arrow D, liquid to gas. And arrow E, both of them, uh, solid to gas. That one is solid to gas. Uh, gas to solid. They didn't give any letter. Arrow is there, but then letter. The following diagram shows the three states of matter and how they can be. the change so this is the condition uh, first question abdur rahman first question you name the changes a to e yes yeah what is the name for that a to e a to e uh freeze liquid to solid that yeah and it will a o b o c o d liquid to solid i i i go now One minute, one minute. Ayo. Min A will be. Yeah, you know that is the that is the one question mistake. Actually, A to B here because A to E. How can we huh? A one? So they mean uh, like freezing A, A freezing to B, B more to get from gas to liquid. Like sir, I read uh, from uh, liquid to solid and oh. uh, solid to to gas, then gas to liquid. Yeah. Um, 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 I think like. Name A is freezing. Melt melting. C is uh, like this. Ayo. C is. Condensation. 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 Liquid ah, to solid. You know, you know. No, 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 no. The question. Uh, we want to uh, say the name for all. You know what is the yeah, change for A? A what? That's what I was saying. Cool. Ah, okay. Yeah, A freezing. Cool or freezing. Freezer. Yeah, yeah, freezing. freezing. What is B? Yes. B uh, melting. B melting. Yeah. What is C? Condensation. 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 Okay. Condensation. Yeah. What? What is D? Boiling. D. D. Yeah. Boiling. Evaporation. Or evaporating. Yeah. Both are correct. Evaporating or boiling. What is E? Sublimation. 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 Good. Ah, Omar Mizan. What is mean by sublimation? Yes, Omar, sublimation. Sublimation is the is the is the is the is a state of uh, from solid to gas yeah oh, like gas. example like air freshener okay, good. good 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 the solid to gas directly okay solid to gas yeah yeah directly yeah good okay so now you understood uh, the changes a b c d e okay first question name the changes your turn then question number b name your substance uh, next question to uh fadi Next question. Name a substance which will undergo change E. What is a change E means change E? What sublimation? 
Give one example for sublimation, one substance. Can I say? Or I say. Ah, okay, say. Carbon dioxide. Yeah, carbon dioxide. Or? Yeah. Iodine. Dry ice. Yeah. Change to carbon dioxide. Okay, good. Iodine is there. Iodine solid, we can change it to iodine gas. And uh, I have given another example in your freezer. Ice directly change it to vapor. So these are the examples of sublimation. Next question. Yeah. Um, Ahmad Kadri. Yeah. Name a substance which will undergo changes from solid to liquid to gas between 0 degree Celsius and 100 degree Celsius. Name a substance which will undergo changes from solid to liquid. Solid to liquid at 100 degree, 0 degree Celsius and liquid to gas 100 degree Celsius. What is that? Can I Can I? One minute. I said. The melting point zero and the boiling point hundred. Who's that? Ah, uh, we. Uh, water. Water. Good. Uh, you know they are asking one was uh, indirect question. Name a substance which will undergo changes from solid to liquid. Its melting point. 0 degree Celsius and liquid to gas 100 degree Celsius. Water. Okay, correct. Then next question, Jaudhats. Question number D. Describe what happens to the particle of the solid during change E. Change E means what? Sublimation. So what happens to the particles of the solid? It instantly break all the attractive forces and turn to gas. Turn to gas. Yeah. Yeah, like the particles, the, the particles in the solid which are vibrating about a fixed point with the attractive force between them, then suddenly gain sufficient kinetic energy to vibrate more rapidly, breaking the attractive force, them, then uh, move away from one another. Means they change into gas. Okay. Yeah. Then next question. Uh, Sir, can Ahmad, I just write? They have yeah, yeah, yeah. energy. Okay, write, write your own line, no problem. Mama Tamir, this okay. question. Mama Tamir, which of the changes A to E will involve an input heat energy? Means we want to give heat energy. Melting and boiling. No, no, in this case, A to E, A to E, which of them need melting and boiling? That only then? No, no. no. Another one? Sublimation? Yeah, yeah sublimation also. Yeah, mm -hmm. sublimation also. Yeah. So B, D, E. Okay, yeah? B, D, E. B melting, D evaporation, E sublimation. For these three, need heat energy. Omar Mizan, what is your problem? Oh, nothing, nothing by mistake. Okay, okay then uh, Muhammad Tamir finish next day. Mustafa Midya, say and next to an out, output of heat energy means uh, that process happening, it will uh, what's a, send heat energy to out. Which of them, A to E, which of them? Uh, the output of heat energy, it will be um... AC and just AC. Okay, AC, good. A and C only. You can remember AC because it will, will uh, give cool. So, A comma C. But also, so, uh, sublimation, change from gas to solid. Gas to solid, uh, that also. Gas to solid, yeah. Yeah, also. So, oh, yeah, that one too. Yeah, yeah. sublimation yeah, will come both cases. From solid to gas, it will need energy from gas to solid. It will yeah. Yeah. Uh, give energy. It will give, uh, yeah. Okay. Then, next question. Question number seven. So, question number six is C. I can put in the exam. You will write correctly. 
Which yeah. Is? Okay. Question number seven. Some nickel disulfate. Okay. It, it read as di nickel disulfate solution was yeah, yeah. carefully placed in the bottom of a beaker of water. Placed in the bottom of a beaker of water. So what is the meaning already? The beaker having some water. Then we are adding some nickel disulfate. The beaker was then covered and left for several days. That is the condition. Nickel sulfate. No, nickel sulfate already down the. Then we are adding some water. Yeah, like that. Then, so nickel sulfate is there down. Then we add some water. Then what is the question? That's the condition. We can understand nickel sulfate the green color, uh, and also you can see the water level here. Water. Then question. Describe uh, uh, question to question to Amar Mizan. Next question. So describe yes, what you would see after a few hours. You will see. You will see the particles are mixed together. Right? But no fully mixed together. The particles are mixed together after a few hours. No. No. Not completely. But start mixing. Yeah. yeah the lower, okay. okay, the lower part of the beaker would still be darker green than the upper part. Like this. After a few hours, the lower part of the beaker would, would still be a darker green color than upper part. Okay, that's it. Then, uh, Omar Khalid. And after several days. Omar Khalid is the. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yes, he is there, sir. Yes, he is there. I don't hear, I don't hear his sound, Omar Khalid. He is muted. Okay, next question, Valid. Number two. What will happen after several days? It be it will be fully di diffused, yeah, like the nickel will be fully diffused in the water. Yeah. Okay, the beaker would contain a solution of nickel nickel disulfate with the same green color throughout. So totally fusion will uh, what say what is it? diffusion will happen. Okay, question number B, explain. Uh, next question for our colleague. Uh, explain your answer to, a, answer to A using your ideas of the kinetic theory of particle. So answer A, what first day? After a few hours, we can see separately. After a few days, they will mix together completely. So by using kinetic theory, you want to explain for our colleague. Okay, so particles of, uh, of liquid um, have weaker um, weaker force of attraction, mm -hmm. and so they are free to move. Yeah. Um, but still, they are weaker than gases, so it will take some time for the two liquids to diffuse together. Yeah, okay. So the nickel disulfate particles are moving randomly around the solution at the bottom of the beaker as are the water particles above. Over time, the random moments, the random moments will result in the particle mixing together. Then after a few hours, only a few water and nickel disulfate particles will have become mixed. But after several days, they will be fully mixed together. Okay, correct answer. Then Abdurrahman, question number C. Yes, what is the name of the physical process that takes place in this experiment? This mixing, there is a name for that. You know what is that? He muted himself. Uh, no. Diffusion. Okay. Huh? Answer. Diffusion. diffusion. Uh, mixing together. That is called the diffusion. So that's finished. Uh, we want to do the workbook next class. But uh, go go the check. You know, physics checklist uh, I have done fastly. So because the less time only I go. So I think you understood all of them. 
any pro any area any problem you can ask ask me i will uh, clear your all doubt okay any blunder yes, mistake sir. any blunder I doubt you can ask no problem sir, answers on uh, whatsapp because uh, you did not write all of them i just answered oral yeah but but i have a i i, I have what's a kambal what you should get the idea what is that oh, that's yeah. the compulsory for me uh, my grade 9 students because i said you maybe next year onwards you are facing the board exam so you want to get a thorough idea uh, because not like our exam i don't say you by heart all the things you you should understood what is that then uh, at that some time we can just uh, memorize that we can just uh, go through we'll get the idea okay okay see the checklist your textbook page number 8 uh, in this lesson after i finish this lesson you should get some idea first one atmospheric pressure the pressure exerted by the atmosphere on the surface of the earth due to the weight of the air due to the weight of the air there is a pressure that is called atmospheric pressure you know grade 6 we studied by using barometer we can measure that then second boiling point boiling point you know the temperature at which a liquid change into gas or the temperature at which boiling is happening that is called boiling point then condensation you know the process of a uh, gas change into liquid simply we can say like that how it is happening means uh, the heat energy decrease and the, the kinetic energy decrease their movement decrease so automatically they change into liquid then diffusion diffusion now we discuss diffusion what the process by which different substances mix as a result of the random motion of the particles diffusion then evaporation evaporation also yeah the operation a process a liquid change into gas then kinetic theory kinetic theory what a theory which accounts for the bulk properties of matter in terms of the constituent particles means uh, this is theory uh, saying about what bulk means what number of properties of matter were in terms of the constituent particles you know here we are Uh, say to uh, study we are analyzing we are searching each particle what will happen we are saying the particle collide like that you know in one drop of water millions of particles so then that the theory saying we are studying uh, each uh, single particles correct then matter matter means what anything whatever may be anything which occupies space and a mass that is called matter then melting point melting point you know the temperature for uh, happening uh, that uh, the temperature for a solid change into liquid means uh, for melting uh, how much energy heat energy need for that that the amount of heat energy is called a melting point then solid liquid gas you know three states of matter is there a question here related to melting point uh what does a uh, sharp melting point mean yeah the temperature for which a solid want to change liquid yeah what does the word sharp at what are the the word sharp sharp melting point water you know the what the ice melting point 0 degree you know below 0 degree i should be solid but when it reach 0 degree it will change into liquid it melted that is called melting point you know some chocolate uh, when we will keep outside it will melt after some days because we need to get the temperature for melting it will melt automatically so melting point means the temperature for melting of a solid at what temperature a solid change into liquid at what temperature melting is happening the amount of that temperature is called a melting point i said your melting point freezing point same same value means 0 degree ice will change into water and 0 degree water change into 
ice both of them will happen so uh, melting point and freezing point both are same the last one sublimation sublimation is a ah sir ah sir how melting point and freezing point is it the same yeah you know uh, that graph you know we studied one graph before i don't know that picture with me that we studied one graph before yeah yeah that graph what we have, what we have seen look here look here zero degree uh, below zero degree all ice but zero degree solid and liquid means uh, ice and water so both of them will have that point a little bit and yeah. look here 100 degree 100 degree liquid and gas means 100 degree water and vapor then above 100 degree only all of them gas and below 0 degree only all of them ice okay that's we are saying both of them say what is human meza what sir what is the sharp melting point what does it mean melting point means the temperature for which a solid want to change, change to liquid for example for example i will say you the melting an example only this is correct answer the melting point of an iron piece is uh, uh, 200 degrees celsius for example if you have an iron piece you put in a vessel and uh, and put in a on the uh, what's stove for heating you you want to give up to 100 degrees celsius when it reach 100 degrees celsius that iron piece will melt make a liquid melting means you know this melting point is different for different substances uh, we studied water will melt yes. 100 degrees celsius pure pure water but sea water no yes. sea water may be in 124 degree like that means that temperature sorry uh, water 0 degree you know that temperature the solid change our to time is up liquid understood okay i miss finish yes, yes. Uh, so sir, sharp, uh, sharp, sir, sir, uh, yeah, in the melting point, okay, in the last paragraph, it's written pure substance have a sharp melting point. So sharp is not included with the melting point, right? Like it's yeah. not the word, right? Okay, got it. Sir, sir, I have yeah, a pure, pure substance. You know, yeah, oh, no, no, uh, that they're saying, you know, pure substance having values. We can see the books, they give on the value for pure substance. But anything happen, the value will change. That they're saying. Means yeah, yeah like uh, I mean like sharp, sharp is not connected with. The... Okay. I mean like sharp is not connected with melting point, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then last term sublimation. Sir, sir, I have I have one. Sublimation means uh, solid directly change into gas, gas directly change into solid. So the, the last okay. one. Sir. After that, we can do the work of the next class. Okay, ask Kadri. Yeah, uh, I want to ask one last question. Um, uh, below the zero, it's solid, and yeah. when it comes uh, after zero, means one, two, three, it's be becoming to change to liquid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Then b between hundred, b b between means ninety-nine and one hundred one, it's uh, a liquid. Yeah. Between the zero and the hundred, it's liquid, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 